With a look at Miami Heat training camp, I'm Ira Winderman from the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Well, the Heat's back here at American Airlines Arena and ready for training camp. But there are a few differences from last year. Foremost, of course, they're the defending NBA champions. And yet Eric Spolster, the Heat coach, said they're not looking at it as defending a title. They're looking at this season as starting anew, as doing what it takes to become a champion. He said that's the goal for this camp. That's the goal coming into the season. We're looking at this as an opportunity uh, to win a title. Uh, and th this is a completely new journey uh, for us uh, to be able to uh, go through an 82-game season to try to improve, hopefully peak at the right time, uh, and persevere uh, through uh, the moments of truth of that second season. Uh, you know, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, like I said, we're we're the only team in the league right now that has an opportunity to win uh, a title two years in a row. For the Heat, there are a few concerns coming into training camp. Most notably, Dwayne Wade is coming off his arthroscopic knee surgery. Eric Spolster said Wade will go slow and be brought along slowly, but Dwayne Wade said he has goals for this season of fitting in more, of lifting his shooting percentages, and just providing a little bit more than he could last year when he dealt with those knee issues. Um, you know, last year I did what I could with what I, with what I was dealing with, and I didn't do too bad. So, um, you know, this year I'm, I'm looking to have a, a better year. For me, it's all about just how efficient can I be. You know, my opportunities are a lot different now than they've, than they've been. So, um, you know, I just want to be an efficient player when I'm on a basketball court, and that's what I pride myself in. Of course, the star of the show is LeBron James, coming off his MVP regular season and his MVP season in the NBA Finals. And now he says he doesn't want to stop here. He wants another championship, and he thinks there still is more to accomplish now that he has his first NBA ring. Well, I think uh, I mean, when you set out a goal, um, you work hard at it, and um, you're able to find to accomplish that goal, and, and the feeling that you have when you accomplish that goal, you know, when it's all over and, and done, and you have to start over again, you're like, wow, that's, I kind of want that feeling again. <laughs> uh, you know, it, and it went by so fast, you know, with the celebration and, you know, with us in the locker room and things like that, and, you know, everybody went, you know, they're on separate ways with their summers. Um, you know, but I want that feeling again. Um, you know, I want to be able to, um, you know, to put us in a position where we can have an opportunity um, to have that feeling again. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenges. And when it comes to the final member of the Heat's Big Three, well, Chris Bosh said he's going to play big without necessarily playing big. Yes, he's an NBA center now, whether he likes it or not. But he said it's not going to allow the position to change how he plays on the court. Um, you know, I'm not going to bang just because I'm a center. doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, have that mind frame like I'm Shaq or something because I'm not. You know, I'm going to, you know, play the game like I'm supposed to play it. I know that, you know, um, guys are going to outweigh me, but, you know, that doesn't really uh, mean much to me. So for the Miami Heat, it's 30 days of training camp, including a trip to China for a pair of exhibitions against the Clippers. And then it all starts for real on October 30th here at American Airlines Arena on ring night against the Boston Celtics. For the South Florida Sun Sentinel, I'm Ira Winderman.